I am cisgender. Because now I'm all in a world, because I'm not sure if I'm a boy or a girl. In other words, stand up. Yeah, what do they call it? Yeah. I think that's it. Stand up for the specimen and disrobe? My word, how impressive. Okay. What I'm about to tell you might scare you or turn you off. But the reason I'm kind of a baby girl-faced person with fuzzy face should be easy to understand by children and adults. Even young adults who are kind of in the sex office rut. That's for later. <laughs> so I am cisgender, and that basically means I'm comfortable physically and emotionally with my gender at birth. The trick is, uh, if you strip, it's true, if you strip me down naked and you saw the front parts, you'd say, yeah, that's a man. However, you looked back behind me and say, uh-oh, it's got two rugas. Ain't quite a man. And if this was many years ago, and they saw the upper part of me naked, they'd say, whoa. This is either a man with boobs or a girl with a dick and balls. Children, you'll have to learn about this someday. And you might as well learn about it now. I, all I can say is I'm, hey, is that a neighbor I've been trying to talk to? Oh, well. Uh, all I'm trying to say is, uh, eventually... As natural, your ch children uh, will uh, experiment with their gender and question their gender and ultimately get the answer with regards to their gender. Now, I went on record as far back as my birth certificate is male. But, <laughs> I won't tell what they are, but I basically have female life goals and female physical needs. And, well, the best way to wrap this up is, uh, that's it. I'm a Mygo. Man and genitals only. You figure it out. But I am cisgender because I'm comfortable with what God made me. And if I'm if transgender, I'll still be com comfortable with what I've always been. And I'm still waiting to become. <laughs>